Okay, so a lot of people are going to be shocked that they're going to get this simple math problem wrong. Now, if you actually understand basic math, this should be a pretty easy problem to solve without using a calculator. So let's take a look at the question. We have 10 squared divided by 5 times 2. Now, we do have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 1, B is 10, C is 20, and D is 40. All right, so once again, no calculators, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, here is our problem. Seems very easy, but to why are a lot of people going to get this wrong? So we have 10 squared divided by 5 times 2. And the correct answer is what? Well, here are two answers. Or I would say these are probably the two most common answers. So if you put B down as your answer, unfortunately, that is incorrect. The right answer is 40. All right. So if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And uh, don't despair if you got this wrong. This is a very easy mistake to, cor uh, to correct, but it's a very common misunderstanding when it comes to basic math. And uh, let's see what I'm talking about right now. Okay, so why would someone get this simple math problem wrong? Now, again, uh, we are not using our calculators here. And uh, I would probably say that uh, most of the reasons why people got this uh, wrong fall under two groups. So if you don't know how to divide, multiply, add, and subtract, and take powers of numbers, of course, you're not going to be able to do this problem, right? So I'm assuming most of you out there understand these basic arithmetic operations. So what is the other reason? Well, the other reason is the order in which you do this problem. And this is where probably 99% of the people that got this wrong confused uh, a step, all right? So this is really, or this video is really about taking the correct order. Again, I'm gonna assume you understand basic arithmetic and you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide basic numbers. So let's take a look at an example of how to do this problem wrong. So maybe we're looking at the problem or saying, you know what, I feel like uh, doing this multiplication first. So five times two is 10. So that would give me 10 squared divided by 10. So maybe we want to do division next. So we're like, I don't know, I'll do 10 divided by 10. That is 1. So maybe this is now 1 squared, which is 1 times 1 or 1. Now, 1 is the wrong answer, but uh, it is a value that we can generate if we take the wrong steps. So the real secret or key to solving this problem is knowing the specific correct steps to do this problem, and that is called the order of operations. So in mathematics, things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and powers, these things are called mathematical operations, and we need to know the specific order to do these operations. All right, so that brings us to this lovely acronym right here called PEMDAS. So this is basically the secret to uh, remembering the order of operations. Matter of fact, this is a checklist that goes from left to right. I'm going to explain this in just one second, but first I'm going to give you a lovely uh, memory device here, a little same that goes along with this uh, PEMDAS, and that is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, I don't know what Aunt Sally uh, did, but uh, we thank her uh, for her contributions to mathematics. All right, so PEMDAS, right? So obviously, this is an acronym, and these letters stand for something. But uh, really, this is a checklist, and it's going to go from left to right. All right, so let me go ahead and explain this right now. So P is the first thing that we're going to do, and P stands for parentheses. But uh, really, we're talking about grouping symbols. So anytime 
in math if I have 1 times 3 divided by 7, let me write that a little bit better here, I can group uh, numbers in different ways, right? And the way to do that is to use a grouping symbol or grouping symbols like parentheses. So I can uh, put parentheses around these numbers, or maybe I could put uh, parentheses around these numbers here. But a grouping symbol in math are uh, parentheses, brackets like this, or squiggly brackets. So anytime you see parentheses or grouping symbols in a math problem, this is where you're going to start. And if there are more than one set of parentheses, let's say you have parentheses inside of something uh, with brackets, right? So you're always going to start from the innermost uh, grouping symbols and work your way out. All right, so I'm going kind of quick here because order of operations is a big topic, but uh, hopefully you understand what I'm talking about. All right, so if your math problem has any grouping symbols, this is where you're going to start. Now, if it doesn't, you're just going to move on to the next thing, which is E. All right, now E stands for exponents, but uh, really you can think of this as powers. So something like 2 to the third power. So if I have 2 to the third power, this 3 up here is called the exponent, right? So that's what that E stands for. This 2 is called the base, and 2 to the third power means take 2 and multiply it by itself three times. All right, so again, not every math problem is going to have parentheses, grouping symbols, or powers, but if it, uh, if it does, you're going to have to do it in this order. All right, so the next thing is M, D, A, and S. So let me tell you what these uh, letters stand for. So M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Now, a lot of people are going to be the, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know what comes next. Uh, we're going to do multiplication, and then after all multiplication is done, we're going to move on to division, and then addition and subtraction. And uh, that's pretty logical. Matter of fact, uh, that's how most people would interpret this PEMDAS little acronym. But actually, that is wrong. All right, so that is wrong. And this is where a lot of people get in trouble in the order of operations. So the way this works is the following. All right, the next thing you're going to do is not necessarily multiplication. It's multiplication or division. All right, so the next thing after uh, powers is multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. Okay, so this, again, is uh, an area of, the order, uh, area of the order of operations that a lot of people confuse. So in your problem, if you have division, then multiplication, you're going to do division first because this is what you see first from left to right. If you have multiplication, then division, you're going to do the multiplication first because that's what you see first from left to right. All right, so once all multiplication and division is done, you move, you'll, uh, you'll move on Excuse me, to any addition and subtraction, and you'll uh, do this the same way, whatever you see first from left to right. Now that we're certified professional experts in the area of the order of operations, i.e. PEMDAS, we can easily solve this problem. All right, so here is our checklist. We're going to go from left to right. So we have 10 squared divided by 5 times 2. So let's take a look at our PEMDAS checklist. And do we have any parentheses? No, uh, we do not. So we can cross that out. And let's move on to the next thing. Do we have any powers? Yes, we do, right? So E stands for exponents. And this 2 right here is an exponent. So this is the first thing that we need to do. So 10 squared is our step number 1. So 10 squared means take 10 and multiply it by itself. So 10 times 10 of course, is 100. Now, when you're doing a math problem, you just want to uh, take things one step at a time. So let's just write the result of 10 squared. So this is going to be 100 divided by 5 times 2. All right, so here is our problem. And now we're going to go back to our PEMDAS checklist. All right, so uh, were there any parentheses? No. Did we take care of all the powers? Yes, we did. So do we have any multiplication and division? Yes, we do. So we have division and multiplication. So the question is, what do we see first from left to right? So here is the left side. Here is the right side. So we're scanning from left to right. So we see division first. All right, so now we have to take 100 and divide it by 5. This is the correct order. And a lot of people, if they weren't familiar with this uh, uh, PEMDAS or how to uh, interpret 
the M and D would say, you know what, I'm going to do multiplication next because that's what comes first uh, in PEMDAS, right? So this is very easy to confuse. So someone could go, well, I'll do 5 times 2, which of course is 10, and then you'll have 100 divided by 10, and that'll give us the wrong answer, i.e. 10. So we have to do the division first. All right, so 100 divided by 5 is what? Well, that's simple arithmetic. That's 20. And then, of course, the last thing to do is this uh, remaining multiplication. So 20 times 2 is 40. All right, so that is the correct answer. So how did you do? Well, hopefully you got this right, but definitely don't feel bad about getting this wrong. Matter of fact, uh, I would feel pretty good about getting this wrong because this is a very common error. And now that you understand the order of operations, you'll never make this mistake again. If you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.